Oh, what's up, guys? This is the Broverman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my my, my Romy Master Total War Let's Play as the Brutii. Eye. So, to round off up last time, we captured the city of Corinth, and now we have quite a significant hold on the Greek Peninsula, and as well as quite a handsome-looking treasury. So, one of our next targets is going to be Sparta. Um, but there was a Greek army nearby. So it's a bit concerning that uh, they're no longer there. So I'm going to pick up a spy in Corinth and get ready to send them south. There was almost a full stack down here. So that is cause of a concern. I mean, it likely means I want to keep producing Principes and Tarentum to send them to Corinth. And as we start to replace troops here with heavyweight troops to hit Sparta, these chaps can uh, start to form a force to sail to go hit Kaidonia, which is our next Senate objective. And then, you also have this force to the north under Aulus Brutus, who's going to hit uh, Thessalonica, then potentially drive north and hit Bylazora. And then, Macedon will be completely destroyed. But first, let's check our building browser. Everyone's building something, which is excellent. Croton could recruit something, so let's recruit a ship. Uh, it's funny really, the, the, the building browser shows quite a handy list of uh, who's doing what, but then when you go to recruit something that list changes <laughs> to uh, where your armies are and who's in these certain towns. So really I think I probably want to pick a few key areas, let's not recruit Town Watch and Apollonia anymore. Thermon has recruited War Dogs, let's send them up to Aulis. Can Thermon retrain any of these ships? No. So let's take the navy at Croton, sail them around to the east coast. Let's take the army out, or well, the navy of Thermon over to Croton so I can replenish their ships. Good stuff. Got a couple of merchants sneaking around, holding on to uh, holding on to the silver resource. I'd like to get rid of them but i think we've got a lot of our a lot of our uh, merchants have already been built yeah so this guy is going to go over and sit into byzantium to see if we can just see how much income they earn uh, there so in terms of my agents yes yeah, so this chap is earning 203 gold per turn monopolizing the gold Goes only 16 a turn of monopolizing the silver. This guy is en route. And this guy is monopolizing. He's out of Corinth. Not doing anything up here. Get into Polarism to see what we can do. So, this is our spy. So if we do go to war with the Greeks, it will be... Actually, can you cross... You can't cross over. So I'd like to continue my expansion eastwards and hit Rhodes as well. But I think I'm going to hit in turn. Chiefly because I don't think there's much else to do, do in this turn. But I do want to go hit Cydonia, because Cydonia is quite a nice little territory to own. It adds a an additional port which really drives up the amount of tradable goods across that part of the world. You get lots of lots of good trade routes established, and lots of trades of goods are established. The Greek cities still have a spy on in our territory. Ooh, fascinating. So that's where they went. The navy sailed east, or well, the army marched east. In which case, okay, let's send this navy through these navies. We've sunk two of their ships. Let's try and ooh, let's try and regain some of the mastery of these waters that we need. Because right now, at least, oh, there's a. Black, an armor here, which gives us upgrades to missile weapons and heavy weapons upgrades. 
Lots of good stuff. But if they've sailed over here on ships, which is excellent, then it means that we've got a good opportunity to knock out Sparta here. But I do want to get my yes, master. my spy in here. They're very unhappy. They may revolt if public order isn't fixed. Huh. Let's march my prince pays over. So let's swap out three Hastati three principes so you've got some starty there as well then so mons recruited hastati okay let's keep the, let's keep tarantum recruiting those Ooh, actually that might be a good opportunity to jump on these very elite fleets and destroy them we sunk one of their ships. You're a bit trickier. Managed to win. Get back to shore. To be honest, I might then chase some of them down. There we go. That fleet is destroyed. So let's sail back to Croton. Okay, building browser. Apollonia. Okay. You can go for a... Hmm. What do you really need? You don't really need anything. Thermon. Get a shipwright to improve our trading. Our trade income. Larissa is still building roads. Corinth. We can repair the wall. And let's pick up a... So they're very happy, but we need to start to... Okay, ultimately, anything I build will start to reduce culture penalties, because it's, it's all... It's all uh, negative. So I might... Well, I'll go for a tenth of Juno to get ready to deal with the bonus... Or to get, re get ready for the penalty of losing the garrison. And we've got Athens, who... Let's build a trader... This army's marching up March. to here. Sir. Let's pull the principes out and put the dogs in. You men push up to go lay siege to the capital. Put a diplomat there just to see if I can block them in. Okay, all our ships are heading back. We've got a message. Spying mission success. Popularity gained with the masses and popularity gained with the Senate. So let's have a look at that. Yep, we're top dog in terms of uh, the favourite the favorite ones, but we are not rewarded with any offices. In terms of the people, we are moving up. It's Corinth. You can start to recruit. You can recruit one Prince Pay unit as well. Let's keep recruiting Trireme in Athens. Because we need to get ready to start to dominate the... Uh, the seas between the... Turkey, or the modern Turkish mainland and the former... The modern Greek peninsula. To prevent the transport of that Greek uh, stack back to our shores. Scipio might be finally moving on Carthage, although apparently I have heard it is a bit of a problem. Oh no, the Germans are coming. That. That right there. Fleet ready. I mean, our fleet is not in position to or immediately pick them up. These men north. Fleet ready. Set sail. Actually, get these ships in Tarentum. Pick up another principal unit, retrain the ships. Orders. Now let's put Thessalonica. Begin the siege. 
under siege with my war dogs in position. To be honest, let's garrison you guys in Athens because then we can at least retrain you. If you guys pick up, retrain these principes, pick up a few more turns of principes, but then that's gonna be a pretty good force to go hit Kaidonia. I mean, we only have seven turns, so I can't spend all the time I'd like recruiting. Um, I know this is a tiny, there's a tiny force here, but there's usually, there's probably a force hiding somewhere else off to the side. Okay, so war between Germany and Dacia, good. Our spy is now sneaky. Good. I am concerned about there being something I have not seen. There's a hidden army there. So I do want this army, when it marches, to be at full strength. And I'll probably end up going around like so. Um, but, Suggestica. Let's get some recruitment going. Not, not that we'll be able to do much of it. Salona to the south is... Got the market. Okay. Let's hit end turn. So let's see what my merchant does when he sits inside the town of a major ally. Julia pushing on to Nabe and Martius. Macedon is likely going to want to try and end the war. Let us end the bloodshed. Ooh. I would be tempted to do that if not Larissa and Corinth. Very demanding. Do not take us for fools. Yeah, fair enough then. I'll take your stuff. I don't want to give them Larissa and Corinth. I want to maintain some level of control. Well, I want to have a... I suppose in Hoy terms it would be Borgo. So he's only 97 per turn at Polarissum. Which isn't even that close. Let's try Byzantium. 100 from turn per turn from Byzantium. That's not bad. Okay, look, that's probably enough. I would like to hijack some cavalry, really. Just in case. You men can see. Then let's go over here. Don't start. Don't keep recruiting any of those. Although, nah, probably be able to recruit some archers. Ready to go into this army at Corinth. Corinth is recruiting principes, but I now want to replace that with some cavalry that I've just lost. Germanians have marched away, but I'm still going to fortify Suggestica to the north because I do not trust them. You guys sail south to go hit this Macedonian fleet. Let's retrain. Check our building browser because you always want to just as we've got a massive treasury just keep building. Just keep going. Triaria, yes please. And then Larissa, you can now get a port. Because they provide loads of trading camp. Athens, you can get the next level mines. And Corinth, you can get 
to get a large temple of Juno. Let's get some gladiatorial games being built. Or getting done. Ready to sail. Okay, you're on route. Six turns. A bunch of internal reports that you don't really need as much. New family member, Sevilla. Too bad, it's a female. We need more men in this family. Because my early campaigning was devastating. <gasps> Titus Brutus has now has a son. Tertius Brutus. So we can keep keep going down this uh this family tree. Hopefully Opius and Salo Salonina Salonina Salonina. Uh, hopefully they start to have some children. Sorry, Amulus. You lost both. Actually, no. Amulus has Decius. Okay, good. The Brutus family line is going strong. Scipio have been repulsed from Carthage. It looks like they are definitely bugged. Julia are pushing on Spain. There's a large Britain stack coming in to say hello, as well as some rebels. Ooh, idle resources. Active diplomat. Um, I shall speak with them at once. We don't have any treaties with the with the Carthaginians, so let's a most generous proposal. Do some trade trade rights and map info. Map info. Um, I might. Okay, what's the where's the best place to put them? Let's put one of my diplomats strategically up near Germany because I foresee trouble in that area. I'll spy over here because I know they're act this spy is active. But he's providing more. He's providing exactly what we need him to right here. So Larissa probably doesn't need all of these town watch. Okay, good. End turn. Let's hope my army at sea isn't intercepted. Skippy, I'm going. The Julia, I'm going strong. Skippy, I not so much. Ooh, they tried to intercept our armies at sea. We've seen them off. The Germans are back, heading towards us at Suggestica. Faction destroyed Dacia. Oh dear, who replaced them? So the Germans finally killed them. Imperator. Okay. You, you need to keep building. So let's get some military buildings constructed up at Suggestica. Because they are stretched out the edge of our empire. Apollonia. Let's get... Again, they're not suffering from any, any other major problems let's get wooden walls thermon attempts to get walls because it will deal with the uh, culture penalty from the greeks but i think hmm. legion barracks might be a good idea sparta's cheered up a bit Let's get my spy back in there. Well, they really don't like that. They really don't like my spy being in there. There we go. That's more like it. Although it is just a few, a few units. But let's go and take out. Actually, what I might quickly do is make sure I can get my ships back to sea. Um, so Cydonia, you do want Cydonia to develop into a port. It has purple dye as well, which total value 30. Actually, that's quite an interesting tool. Quite an interesting thing I've not noticed before. So if I click hover over timber, it shows me how much things are worth. So it's yes. you out of the way. Potential income 24. Okay. So then I'm probably, it might be undoing some rules here. So you know, that's potential income 55 and he's actually earning 228. Yeah. Sorry, I brought the shift menu. I think maybe it's because he's on the 
Is it maybe because he's on a road? I don't know. Uh, okay, let's take this force and go take the take the coastal town of Kaidonia away from the rebels. This would be a useful springbok, springbok, springboard towards Rhodes to the east. And Rhodes is a fantastic, fantastic city to take because it's got something like plus forty percent trade growth, which is huge. I think it's, well, I think it might be forty percent trade growth by sea. Which is a huge, huge, huge amount of income. So you want some Hastati going in from one direction. So I started to push in from the other direction, and I also want my cavalry to be mobile. The enemy have brought up more men. I don't know where. You can't see them on the campaign map. So let's send my cavalry to scout. Because as it is, it's just a unit of hoplites, militia hoplites on the town square, which will fight bravely, but we can surround them. So let's get to the edge of this hill. Bring my infantry to bear against this new threat. Get these two units to focus on the cavalry, though you might want to turn away from those hoplites. So you men, those Sicilian pirates, like I said, they're done for. The enemy general is running away. This is there no we go. To behave, but in battle, it's beyond belief. Show their true virtue. They are not soldiers. Let's get my cavalry to definitely attack the militia as they route back to the town centre. There we go. The enemy general is killed. The general is dead. His men know their doom approaches. Look at this, look how weird this is for... Okay, let's just run you away. There we go. God, the weather's really brightened up. So originally I was going to do a bit of a recording session prior to going to the gym, but now it's lovely and clear, so I think I'm going to just go to the gym. <laughs> Bring my equities in. Just surround and destroy. So you got to fire it well on. All my cavalry are sat here waiting. Like 
yeah, they're not going to... They decided they weren't going to wait. So you just send in... My equites. And just kill them. So let's probably speed up time, because right now it's just going to be picking apart... A, uh, a Greek dead. formation on the, the square. Know, Especially as their the pathfinding doesn't seem that great. They're going to kill the, the random cavalrymen that are going to charge around and accidentally get in front of them. There we go. <laughs> Quite a basic battle there, but you know, these things happen at times. Roman faction Senate missions are a good place to start if you were unsure of what to do. It can be, and it also can be a real pain in the backside as they ask you to do something that's incredibly dumb, but you wouldn't otherwise know because you're new to the game. Okay, so we don't want to enslave or exterminate. We don't want the population to go down. We're going to just occupy. Understandably, they are very unhappy. So let's lower the tax rate. Let us knock down the their uh, temple replace it with a trying to mercury because of the trade bonuses and let's get a governor's villa as well then we do also have this force up here at larissa not larissa thessalonica antigonus the cunning so this is their factionaire and their faction leader so don't expect them to go down without a fight I mean, granted, we do have overwhelming numbers. But uh, there's only only so much they can do. I mean, I would be open, to be honest, to capturing this territory and declaring peace with the Macedonians. Friends, Romans. Let's just get the deployment on the go. I don't want... Don't want these guys to have the ram. Oh no, they're just sorry, they're just hidden. Ram. At the double. Uh, Hurry. Okay, so put a Run, put a prince pay unit behind every ram. Or at least an infantry unit behind each ram. Our agents or our skirmishers can get ready to move up, as can our archers of Crete. Our cavalry, our hoplites can get ready to march in through the gates, and our cavalry and dogs can stay where they are. This very man will be busy today. The enemy have brought more men to the fight. Yeah, it's not a battle we are we are worried about. So let's run. Our skirmish is up. And our archers up. Hello. So these are all light lancers. I don't want to engage too close to the wall because they've got those archer towers. Oh no, doggos stay where you are. I mean, say so you guys would have to Yeah, light lancers is oh, they're just not good cavalry. Our soldiers are at the gates. Now they must batter a way through. They might have some archery support from the the towers, but no, that's the gods be praised. The enemy's hearts are done. There we go. Where's my Cretan archers? 
Engage those phalanx pikemen. My Lyrian mercenaries are getting hit by the... Oh yeah, actually going to start throwing at the... this light cavalry. There you go, my archers of Crete getting some some shots in, but they are phalanx pikemen, so they're not they're no slouches. Keep engaging. The enemy gate is down! Our battering ram has done its work. Push my peltists up. The enemy general has been killed. The enemy general is dead. His men know their doom approaches. So we do. They've got a couple of units of cavalry sat lying around. Peltast in the center. Come on, Fanning's Pikeman. Get ready. March into... into range. Show no mercy! The enemy walls are down! Make sure they're no, yeah, This was the problem. The this was the problem they were all, they all... the AI always has is that sooner or later it's just a question of... Move, move. having too many... you can get too many men into the settlement too quickly. Got our Illyrian mercenaries up because we got ourselves a little. Not my general. Get some of my cavalry in. Let my Hastati weather the blow. So I wanted to get my mercenaries in a position to start throwing javelins into the into the uh, pel tests. Yeah, my Triaria aren't the best to be sending in this particular engagement. Our soldiers have captured the walls. Now is the time to press on and capture this place. I'm gonna send my men in against the light lancers because light lancers are rubbish. Pull our cavalry back. Starty charge into the pikemen. Push these equites up more aggressively. So pel tests. Engage the light lancers. They will fall quickly. To concentrate a javelin fire. General's bodyguard and another unit of General's bodyguard. So where's my? I didn't expect them, uh, their pikemen, to come back. Or not their? Well, I didn't expect my cavalry to not kill their pikemen. So let's get. Cavalry back down to support this fight. I also want my war dogs in. It's killing those generals' units are going to be pretty important. Good, really. My Hastati are so slow getting in, so it means they don't. They do, it takes a bit longer for them to die. Charging back 
here. My Prince Pays are at the front, and now it's the wrong direction for my cavalry. Keep my hoplites moving up. Come on, Astarte. Or if you want, if you want to throw javelins, because you don't want to move into the combat. Engage those enemy pikemen in point blank range! Then in they go. Oh wait, I picked up my pikes there. So I want to march my pikes up. So I want them to be in the good position because oh, General's bodyguard, it's good cavalry. Let's charge my Ekates up to intercept this unit of light lancers that's coming in. To fight the battle near the the gates. Okay, so let's put move up our cavalry. Hmm, these guys are going to continue to chase down the. Ooh, who's firing? Four of them left, and these infantry should be enough to kill them. Two left. But chiefly, I want these men to mainly support my pikemen. Yeah, my Chiari, I have had enough. Let's speed up time. Let's begin the advance and push towards the enemy cavalry. There's another unit of light lancers coming in. They break. Okay, let's take These Equites to go around the flank and try and get over to here to charge into the square. Hey, these men have been the first, the first men to hit my hoplites. Attack hoplites! Immediately, they just stop. They just drop their shields. There's not really another good way to get in. Chiefly want my hoplites in a good position to threaten their cavalry when it comes out. Let's pick up our This is it. My infantrymen pushing up to provide some support, but it's going to be mostly this cavalry that comes in to save the day because they're going to have the better option to get in. But it is these two general bodyguard, general's bodyguard units that are the concern. Obviously, there's some, some funky pathfinding has happened. It's another handful of kills. Where's my Archers of Crete? Let's try and get 
new guys up here. Let's speed up time. I do want some troops that have javelins behind my hoplites. Mostly, once my hoplites have... Once they've committed to attack my hoplites, that's when the rest of my men will engage. Let's see if we can successfully... There we go. There go our hoplites. Everyone, huck all your javelins at him. One of you guys chase down the Peltasts, but I want most of these guys to move in. Into the rear of the General's bodyguard. men charge the Peltasts, everyone else just men, your job is to hold them up <laughs> my Cre Cretan archers are engaging we've got them trapped the generals having a great time against their Peltasts My men are dying like in are dying like flies. But like the good sons of Rome. But these guys aren't even They were sat like with just side on. Yeah, general. There we go. square is captured they appreciate what's happening so let's keep charging my men in my equites now have it's now their turn to suffer as they attempt to make it back through the Ooh, enemy king is routed let's continue continue the fight let's kill the king it's their faction leader yeah archers of crete there we go the enemy king is down huzzah but this is the battle i was hoping to get in order to make a peace with the Macedonian Empire. That was my that was my plan and that was my my hopes and dreams almost for this component because then we can focus on Cydonia Roads and the Turkish uh the Turkish mainland. Victory and glory. This land is so let's enslave the population and then let's send be quick. Our patience is limited. Offer ceasefire and trade. Map info, map info. Regretfully, ah, we well, must decline. You will see about that. Because all that's going to happen is that we're then just going to push Hitler up here by Lazora, which is your last capital. And then that is that. Then we're successfully allied with um, uh, Thrace, which means our northern flank is secure and we can focus on this area. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So. Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for another episode of my Brutii campaign. Cheers everyone.